Good evening, Simple Tips people. Okay, so uh, last year I made a video uploading GoDaddy FTP to a website. I've had countless comments uh, and loads of email conversations and chains around an issue reporting that the folder does not appear to point to the site, etc, etc. Um, it's always the same thing. Generally, it's your FTP account. So we're going to jump in. Um, I'm building a website for a company called, well, actually it's a barbers called Paul's Barbers. And we're going to manage that. Our admin portal, so cPanel. Okay, I'm just going to clarify something. Public underscore HTML is your domain address. If I type in public underscore HTML, I mean... google.co.uk now I'm Google and I upload test.html to the public HTML area of my site I have essentially created a new file at google.co.uk forward slash test.html does hopefully that makes sense so we are uploading all of our html including our index to public html so if we go back to cpanel we go back to ftp accounts now i think a lot of issues come from up here where you type in your login i personally create one called public underscore html and this is so that i understand where i'm uploading to the floor comes with here as you go to generate your new password so we're going to generate this password we're going to add that to the notepad we're going to paste that in there and paste that in there great password here underneath directory you're creating public HTML folder within the public HTML area or domain. So essentially what we will get in here is if we keep this directory as default, we'll be uploading to public underscore HTML, public underscore HTML, test dot HTML. That's not what we want. What we want. So what we've got here I break it down again this is what we've got this is not what we want so we need to take away this end public HTML we ignore this this is fixed this is essentially GoDaddy saying on our big old computer your website is this and the HTML files are here so your DNS looks to this point for your index.html so once you set that you go create I can't press create because I've already got one because I keep to my standards so I'm just going to go test but you see how it's generated that down here so we're going to take that away and now that, that means anything that uses this test at paulsbarbers.co.uk it's going to upload to public html we're going to create that we're going to jump into Muse. That's going to upload fine. If I jump into Muse, I'm going to upload our coming soon. So this is just a placeholder. So it's got his logo in there. It's you know it's just got a bit of information. This uh, renders as a map. Um, we go file, upload to FTP host. This is going to say. Um, paulsbarbers.co.uk the site URL is paulsbarbers.co.uk public html folder on server this is blank because we're not putting it anywhere okay if we was to go uh, this is a test then what will happen is uh, you would upload this file to google.co.uk forward slash test forward slash test 
HTML. If I was to say the folder on the server was happy, I would be uploading to google.co.uk forward slash happy dot test dot html if I check in public folder or actually sorry it's public html what we get is we get uh, this so this field should be left blank site URL is this pausebarbers.co.uk you're going to press OK on that check inside bloody bloody blah boom the website's rendered it's at pausebarbers.co.uk forward slash index.html FTP upload complete you're all good boom now part two of this video we're going to focus on creating um, if we get rid of this what we want is we want google.co.uk forward slash images forward slash test.jpg so there's two ways of going around this we can create our FTP account to point to public HTML forward slash images or we can modify Muse to upload to folder images now if you do it the muse way so say we re-render this to images it's going to prompt this the requested folder images does not exist do you want to create it so it's actually going to create this area on our uh, control panel so we go to public HTML at the moment you can see uh, oh, there is actually a folder called images let me change this example to uh, <laughs> quality so we can quality folder quality cool so we open up muse we're going to cancel that we're going to change that to qwerty we're going to okay that folder does not exist we're going to okay that does not appear to point to site paulsbarbers.co.uk interesting okay and that is because the folder on the server is qwerty so we've created this qwerty folder but that means your domain has changed from paulsbarbers.co.uk or google.co.uk to paulsbarbers.co.uk forward slash qwerty so we okay that and away you go okay that's fully uploaded and you can see paulsbarbers.co.uk forward slash qwerty and we have our index.html now we can jump into our file browser and we can refresh that on the server and you can see this folder has been created equally equally we can jump into our FTP account we can go log into qwerty so now we know that this is a folder directory um, and not our standard public HTML and we can generate well, it automatically generates but public underscore HTML forward slash QWERTY and then we would strip this back 
but we would leave that as forward slash qwerty I hope that clarifies some points I've tried to rush this video it's already 11 minutes um, if you have any further questions do feel free to email me I always get back as soon as possible